Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am Adriana, and this is my husband, Robert. And this is Mickey. And this is Mickey. Um, but today, this is part two, or video two, in our Japan vlog. Today, we are going to Disney Tokyo Sea. Um, yesterday, we were at Tokyo Disneyland. This is our first time ever gonna be there. Um, and we have to leave really soon to get on the bus. So yeah. I just wanted to say hi, and we're gonna show you our outfit of the day, and then get on the bus. Okay, so this is our look for the day. Um, some of this is merch that we got yesterday, so we're really sporting the Tokyo Disney merch. Half the stuff is like merch on me right now. The yes. shirt, the Mickey, and the birthday. Birthday button. Man, um, and then we're just wearing sneakers, yeah. joggers, and a cutie bomber. I'm honestly living for his fit right now. It's very cool. Yeah, um, yeah that's Robert. Go for it. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. It's a little different than what I had planned originally because it's very cold outside. It's like 61 degrees right now. Um, but I am just wearing, I guess we'll start from the top. So we bought these ears yesterday at Tokyo Disneyland. I thought they were perfect for Tokyo Disney Sea. Um, I have these Mickey sunglasses that I literally can't wait to wear. <laughs> Moment of silence. Okay, moving on. Um, my Stony Clover dupe that literally holds everything from Amazon. I highly recommend put it in the link below because it literally fits everything. We also have a little wash a little towel clippy. now. With we a also have really a little, cool little wash clip. towel. Normally these are for ears, but I just thought it would be cool for the wash towel. Um, I explained why in the last vlog when I did a little haul. I just came out really cute. I'm wearing these overalls from Target. Um, leggings from Amazon. Everybody always tells me that these leggings look like I'm not wearing any pants. So I figured I was safe to wear them today for the sake of being warm because I was very cold yesterday. Just wearing some fuzzy socks and some sneakers. These are hokas. They're kind of dirty, but it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's my outfit. This long sleeve is also from Target. I just feel like it all feels very Tokyo Disney scene. So with that, I'm also stealing Robert's jacket because I brought a jean jacket and a sweater and I felt like none of those fit my outfit. So this one kind of looks cool um, when I put it on. It's definitely oversized, but I feel like I'm giving an 80s vibe. I don't know. Maybe. Is it a look? I'd say so. Robert says so, so that's all that matters. But we have to go, so I'm going to go ahead and grab um, yesterday at the convenience store. Um, every hotel has like a little convenience store. They're very big around here. They have a lot of like food. Um, and it's not like American convenience stores where you're like sketched out by the food it's actually good food and we got these sushi triangles um sushi i don't triangles. know what they're actually called it's just a joke i think it's like a rice cake it's like a rice cake but it, it has grilled salmon inside you're supposed to eat it cold and it's wrapped in seaweed it's actually really good um we had it the first night but we saw people yesterday morning while waiting out for disneyland eating some and i'm like we were both like man we wish we bought those so we did last night and we kept it in our fridge so that we're ready but let's go catch the bus and go tokyo disney sea okay so we are I am um, sitting outside of security at Tokyo Disney Sea. We were able to catch the first bus out of our hotel again. Like, by this much. <laughs> by like a hair, by the grace of God. So um, we're waiting outside and today is much smoother than yesterday was. Not that yesterday wasn't smooth, but I feel a lot more prepared. For example, like the security situation is a lot more like straightforward. Um, yesterday the line outside of Disneyland was really long. Um, but we're like, I can literally see the exit machines like right here. Um, and then I also just feel so much warmer, which is a much more joyful yeah. experience. So far, the vibe that we're getting from this park, I think Robert described it really well. Oh, um, uh, yeah, it's like Islands of Adventure meets the Discovery portion of Epcot is what we're getting from it right now. At least. Right now, just just basically from walking into security is what we're getting from that. Uh, but we're really excited because I have very little expectations because I haven't done very much research. All I know is that everybody rants and raves about this park. Um, so I literally cannot wait. I try to shield myself from a lot of the information so that we could have like blank slate, but I'm really excited. Okay, so while Robert is waiting at the park entrance, it's pretty slow this morning, so I went to go check out the storage locker situation um, because tomorrow morning we are spending a half day at Tokyo Disney Sea before going to our hotel um, in like the more city area in Tokyo. I can't remember exactly what the city is called. It's closer to like the Shibuya area. So because of that, our checkout is at 11, so we have to. Um, 
bring our luggage with us to Tokyo Disney Sea, store it, and then um, we can go from the monorail station to our train from there. So I wanted to check out the storage with all her situation to make sure it would fit our things. So this is what I found. All right, so these are the smaller lockers. The smaller lockers are 500 yen for the day. And then they have much bigger ones. And this one is 800 yen. And then um, these are also 800 yen. So there's lots of options. Comes with a little key and it's coin operated. So you just, um, for example, take it out. The key doesn't come out unless you put the yen in, but you need coins. So we thankfully got coins um, the other day did before coming to Japan was go to our local currency exchange center um, and exchange American USD for yen. So we got about $600 worth um, USD in yen, which ended up being somewhere around 73,000 yen. Um, and we had that on us, but it was all cash. So when we were at the airport, we went to a convenience store and paid in cash and they gave us uh, coins back. So that should be enough. I'm gonna double check and if not, then I will probably buy something today. Instead of using our credit card, I will use cash so that I can get change back. But that's pretty much it. I actually feel really good because it's a lot more simple than I thought it was gonna be. And here is the locker information that you can pause if you need to read it. I just found out that they have a change machine right here. So I don't even need to worry about it. How perfect is that? That brings me so much peace because I was a little concerned about what we were gonna do. And I knew there was a locker situation, but I didn't think it would actually fit all of our luggage and everything. So it made me a little nervous, but now I feel absolutely fine about it. Like I'm so happy about that. So if you're coming and you're not necessarily staying every single night uh, that you're actually at the parks, now you know you have that option. Another thing I'm not sure that I mentioned um, either in yesterday's vlog or previously is we actually waited to buy our tickets till we got here um, simply because if you are staying at a Tokyo Disney hotel, um, you are a you're guaranteed to get your tickets. So you buy them at check-in um, and they're guaranteed yours. It doesn't matter if the park is at capacity, you're guaranteed to get in the park. And so we figured that was our best bet because we, um, tried to buy them online at first and our card was not working um our credit card works here just fine but it is just a known problem that people have that like american or like international cards don't necessarily work the best with the japanese websites so we figured we'd wait and it worked out perfect the only one that we actually did purchase in advance was our tickets for universal studios japan um, and we bought those via kluke um, because we are staying in a universal hotel but they don't have that same like situation. So that worked out pretty easy. And we're staying a half day um, tomorrow simply because we've never been in this park before. And we just wanted to make sure we had enough time to truly enjoy it and didn't feel rushed today. So yeah, I hope that we can get a lot done today. But if not, we have a half day tomorrow. <laughs>
rides that make me go into elevators always make me a little nervous, but we shall see. I'm like so nervous and so excited. Okay, we did a journey to the center of the earth. And crapped our pants. <laughs> yeah, so it is not a scary ride. It just has some jump scares. It's, um, just, it's just loud. It, it's just... it is loud. We are, we are sound sensitive people, so we are the cover your ears kind of people in this family. Um, but it was really cool. It was shorter than I expected. Yeah. I think the best way I can explain it is if you made ET like the at Universal. Half. Yeah. The second half of ET like more like dark and kind of crazy. Expedition Everest. -y, yeah. Um, but with Mount Everest. Um, and I think that's the best way to describe it. The animatronic was really cool. Yeah. Um, there's this one bolt of lightning towards like the middle that scared the crap out of us. <laughs> um. But, All I could hear was Adriana afterwards go, ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, I was like, mm, no, thank you. Um, but it was really cool. And the wait was like 15 minutes, so that was great. Going under. I will say, as much as I don't love the gloomy raininess, great, gloomy raininess right now, it fully adds to the experience. Wouldn't you say, Robert? I absolutely would say, yeah. Like, I'm like, this feels in world like it feels right <laughs> i mean the, the cool thing is is like it's not even like raining hard it's just like no. a drizzle which is the perfect little atmospheric touch but it is really cool okay so i have some thoughts and i wanted to share them so do you remember the journey to the center of the earth movie with josh hutcherson i remember the movie but i never saw it all right and do you remember not during the center of the earth but like the atlantis themed one that wasn't the atlantis theme that they made later with josh hutcherson and the rock if Vanessa Hudgens was in it? Probably, but I again didn't see it. I can't remember what it's called. Josh Hutcher sends the modern day Jules Verne confirmed. <laughs> there you go. That's but fun. I can't help but wonder like why Universal specifically didn't pick up those movies and make rides off of the Jules Verne books. You know? Yeah. Especially because the first one had um guy from The Mummy, don't hate me. What is his name? Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser, goodness gracious. The first one had Brendan Fraser, who was like a universal icon at this point. And it's just like, those would have made really cool rides. And I could totally see Brendan Fraser and The Rock, like really owning rides themed off of like Jules Verne's books in the Universal Parks. But that's the beauty, right? It's like, we're like, I love that there's still so many great ideas out there that could be made into True. rides. Because if all the good ideas were already rides, then what fun would it be talking about these ideas? So. True, but I just thought those would be, I thought those would be good ideas. I really loved those movies. I thought they were great, but anyway, that was all I had to say. Those were my thoughts. <laughs> overwhelmed us with emotion this ride overwhelmed us with fear and anxiety <laughs> like I told Robert while we were like waiting to get off I was like that to me is what felt like I feel like Halloween Horror Nights is like 
<laughs> because it's dark in a lot of parts and I just had no idea what to expect and things just kept popping out at me. So I was a little stressed. However, I, I will say that was a, a phenomenal job at, uh, at, at paying homage to like the original Disneyland attraction while like just taking it to like the nth degree. Like, man. <laughs> it was really cool. I think if I were to ride it again, I would be a lot more comfy. But screams were scrumped. Scrumped? <laughs> and uh, there's one part where like, I, I think it was when something like electrocuted us and like squished us. And like I screamed so loud and Robert tried to hold me tight but his fingers just ended up digging into my ribs. I'm sorry. So it was, it was mixed emotions. So, you know, 4D I guess. <laughs> it was 4D, I was getting squished. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. But, okay, now, we're gonna the go next part of the park. Do something easier. We're gonna go see Nemo, I think. Yes. Yeah, that's probably the good side of the mountain while the other view. one's in construction. It's your favorite like. time of the day, bun time with Robert and Adriana. Hey, yeah. All right, so <laughs> we got this Donald bun. It is a it's shrimp. Urichi bun, Somehow. shrimp. And then we got a Coke because we need the caffeine. Shall you tell us what it tastes like, Robert? Yes, I'm gonna take a bite out of Donald's hot buns. Oh yeah. Damn. Oh, I didn't even notice the paper. I totally would have pursued uh, eating it with the paper on accident. Good? Mm -hmm. We've have yet to have a bad butt, so I had a feeling. Yeah, really good. Right. That's what it looks like inside. It tastes a lot like that meat bun that we had from Lawson. Very good. Mm -hmm. I was telling Robert that buns here are like the Japanese equivalent of an empanada. <laughs> It's like, I feel like every culture has a doughy thing that they shove with meat and everybody enjoys it. And I think buns are that equivalent here. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of filling. Mm -hmm. like in between, you know? They're not like stacked right on top of each other. I guess it's kind of, but I don't think it's a legit American flag. So a funny thing about here is they have fake American flags everywhere. Robert and I are in a discussion about whether or not this one is fake, but at Disneyland they had fake ones and I thought that was funny. But we are now, what is this called Robert? This is called the American Waterfront I believe. American Waterfront and it's so interesting being another country in like a pavilion or area of a park that is themed about our country because that's just so interesting. I will say as, as someone who has seen plenty of the northeastern coastline they, they kind of crushed it. Like, it, it, looks, it looks really good. I have not seen the northeastern coastline, at least not the part that you're talking about. Yeah, but. I know, but this little area, they did a great job. This, this is very There cool. you go, this is Cape Cod. We have reached Duffy Central. The one thing is like, I actually don't know anything about Duffy. Everybody's like obsessed with it. But I have no idea where it comes from, like what the origins are, anything. And I feel like I'm missing out because I just don't know and everybody's obsessed. Like, does everybody just love it because it's cute? Which is fine. But I just, I don't know why. I would like to know. Okay, so I might not be like a fan, but this is really cool. <laughs> Okay, so we got this really cutie wrapped up sandwich. It's cold. Mm -hmm. um, it is their Cape Cod cook-off sandwich. Oh, it has Duffy on it, or one of her friends or somebody. Yeah, um, that's Lena B or something. <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
Mm. All right, all right. So it is a shrimp sandwich. If you get a, get this, we like shrimp, okay? Um, and it also has pastrami in it, so that's pretty cool. And it's cheesy bread, so and the bun is pink. But without further ado, I love the squishy bread. Yeah. This is this is what Americans eat, you know, all the time. That is what we got. Their Tower of Terror is huge. That looks like a whole like real cruise ship. Yeah. Insane. I don't know how I feel. I feel like there is so much going on in this little area of the park that I'm overwhelmed by. <laughs> But into McDuck's Pawn Shop we go. I will say the world building and detail for immersion is incredible here. I'm, I'm living for the springy Duffy vibe, to be honest. Like, I would I would take that costume right off of her and wear it myself. Okay, I have no idea that the American area was so huge. Like, I feel like we've been in it for a while, and I, like, am overwhelmed. Like, I, there's so much to it. This New York deli. Where there can be shrimp, there will be shrimp. <laughs> Are you ready to get eaten by uh, Woody? I will say it is pretty though. I do really like the the white and oh, yeah. blue and it's so pretty. This is cute, the toy box playhouse. Super this is the cute. Tin soldier. I'm gonna go over there. This place is just absolutely beautiful. Alright, so we found the Hotel Miracosa, which you can enter from the park. How insane is that? Wow. I just can't get over it. Something we were saying was how this park is just... We've just been wandering for like the past couple minutes and I feel like there's still so much to see and we haven't even touched like a whole section of the park. No. It's, it's Adriana insane. Adriana asked if we could go see Ariel's place and every time we're about to go there we like drift off into another branching path so will we get there? I don't know. We'll get there eventually. This is why we have another day tomorrow. I, I, I see this now. Caramel popcorn. Coconut popcorn, coconut. No, caramel. Wow, okay. How cool. <laughs> Do you hear the music? What? I was, I was talking to the vlog if they heard the music. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed. <laughs> this is beautiful. Because it was my bucket list, little did I know it was actually your bucket list. This is my Super Nintendo world right here. This right here. Yep. Yep. You guys, they put in the utmost, the utmost care to this park. And that's all I have to say on that. Here. Oh, that would have been cool. <laughs> to be honest, kind of love that it's Jasmine's flying carpets and not Aladdin's. I just, good change. 
Robert, as always, made an excellent point. Robert, tell us what you discovered. I was looking up at the Jasmine's Flying Carpet thing, and I kind of realized that that's not water. That's just like a, a transparent material or something that they use, and they have it like moving and twisting in a way to where it looks like running water down there. And then even up where the peacock is, you can clearly tell it's supposed to be like a, a fountain look, but. But it's really it's just cool. Solids, yeah. I'm sorry, but this is just so much more beautiful than anything we have at home. They've really put so much effort into Agrabah, it is insane. I love seeing Raja in the parks. Way we go. just some little like filler ride whatever like this will be fun no it was beautiful like we started off saying like oh this is gonna be like yeah it's just a fun little thing to do no it was beautiful like it yeah. was absolutely beautiful the animatronics are amazing the set pieces were gorgeous and it, it was so long I felt like yeah. it was I literally I thought it ended halfway through yeah <laughs> and then it kept going yeah, at one point he's like, oh cool, he's back in the village, it's over. And then it goes on to more stuff and you're like, are you kidding me? Like, I just wish that I could understand what they were singing, but it was just beautiful. And I'm like, if it was just beautiful to me and I didn't even know what they were saying, I can only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so, if we ever come back, we have to Time learn to so we can Learn understand. up on our Sinbad too. But yeah. Sinbad was 10 out of 10. It was only a 10 minute wait, please don't sleep on it. Yeah, Because a lot of people apparently are. But definitely. it was it's so good. Gem. Beautiful. I am in love with this section of the park. I was just telling Robert, um, and I've always thought this, and I, I couldn't be saying it wrong, but the architecture in the Arabic countries is always like, I think is like the most beautiful. Like just being surrounded by it, I'm just like everything should look like this. This this is what should exist everywhere, and that's just how I feel. You need your picture with Pink Triton. That was, this is so cool. Uh, so we're just gonna be recording this whole portion because I think Adrian is about to explode on camera and I, I kind of want to capture it, but here we go. We're going to Triton's kingdom. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Playground. <laughs> I'll eventually get a shot of the of the space once Let's I'm done getting a reaction. Let's just go down. <laughs> Oh, she's swimming. Oh, she's swimming. She's swimming and swarming. Whoa. It's so cool. Do you want your picture in front of the poster for King Trident's concert? I'm okay. You guys, this place is huge. It's huge. 
when the gift shop is a fish and her eyes open and close. I wish she would do it so you could see it. Well, you'll just have to believe me. Nothing we have compares. Nothing. For it. <laughs> Flounder told me to do it. And now walk away. That's so cool. <laughs> How cool to further emphasize that we are underwater. Still a pretty good view. thing I've ever experienced. Don't know about you guys, but uh, we just finished riding Jumpin' Jellyfish. We actually met the sweetest little family in line. Um, they are um, living in Korea, but they're from the States, and I think he was in the Navy. Is that what he said? Yeah, he's in Navy. Uh, and they had two twin boys. They were little, 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 um, and they were just so nice and so sweet, and it was just cool to I don't know, meet other people who spoke English and um, yeah, and it was just very cool because they were telling us a lot about like their travels and stuff, especially with being in the Navy and with like the little ones. Well, you know, and it's also cool because they're like at the stage like right ahead of where, you know, we are. So like to kind of see what their lives are like and talk to them about that was just so cool. So and it neat. also was like, good, we can come back with little ones. Other people <laughs> have done it. We can do it too. <laughs> This is unbelievable. They even have like aerial in the tiles. And a hidden Mickey, of course. Oh, and the Triton next to it. I created Beast. It's really hard to fix. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in this park. They just love Duffy so much. They've installed all of these different places around the park for you to put the bear and take pictures of it. They really said, oh, this would be a banger picture if you put Duffy here. So It's here, adorable. Let's, let's build a little stand just for Duffy. Someone thought she got water, but she didn't. It tastes like a Gatorade though. So I don't mind it. Yeah, it does have some refreshing potential. I just thought it was cute water. My mistake, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to try something different. All right, so we got the soy sauce and butter popcorn. Robert, what do you think? I just don't want yeah. to blow away. A sweetness to it almost like a little. Oh, that might be the popcorn. I think so. it's from the butter. I like it. There's a garlic butter one. <laughs> no, there's a garlic butter shrimp one that I'm scared to try, but I think we need to. So, um, at Disneyland, it's primarily only like sweet flavors, but here they have some more savory ones, and I'm more of a savory kind of gal, so I think we're gonna try that later. I forgot to show you, but here's my wrapper. It's super cute. It has Little Mermaid Minnie on it. It's Day of the Mermaid today, you guys. And then Robert got a tiramisu ice cream sandwich. Shout outs to my dog, Tara. Those of you that remember Tara. Why? What? Like it. It tastes like biscuit lado. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow, home away from home in a way. So I went to Puerto Rico recently. Church's chicken is like a big thing in Puerto Rico. But exclusively to the Puerto Rican Church's chickens, they have this dessert is called bisquelado, which is a biscuit, a honey biscuit with ice cream and strawberries on top. Delicious. And it tastes like it, so that's cool. Great. I got tiramisu with little Mickey on it. So cute. As you can see, I just I love to surround myself in Mickey, so I'm looking forward to this. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It's got like a like a, a very very slight hint of like a coffee taste. Probably tastes a bit more chocolatey than anything, but I really like it. So. Yay! All right, it's a lot. Would you like to uh, try some of mine, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Alright, we've got. Watch out! What, what am I asking out for? He dropped the Alright, snack of the day, or other snack of the day. Churro, finally, so our first days. churro. Mm -hmm. and, and then a sushi roll. A shrimp and chicken. Yeah, a shrimp and chicken cutlet sushi roll. Yep. I'm gonna do the churro first. Um, kind of dry. I don't think whatever way they make it is uh, as oily as ours is, but it's good. It's good. It's not as sweet either, which is not bad. I actually kind of am okay with that. I used to be really into sweet things when I was a kid, but now that I'm older, it just doesn't do it for me. It's not very cinnamony either. No, it's really just sugar. Yeah. You may have done but now here's the thing that we're really interested in is the sushi roll. It always throws me off when things are cold. I always expect it to be hot. That's got a really nice flavor. Nice view from the ship. You feel like you're on a Disney cruise, Robert? This is the Teddy Roosevelt Lounge inside of the ship. And it is just so cool. Okay, if you are coming to Tokyo Disneyland, get reservations to the Roosevelt Lounge because I kind of wish I did. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it was really pretty. And it, if you're a Teddy Roosevelt fan, you're gonna really like it. It I just looked like a really cozy place. I also am kind of interested in looking into like what the dinner is like at the Columbia restaurant because it looked really pretty. Lost, so Lena helped him find Mickey. Okay. Okay, so we're in the Duffy store. I have learned the Duffy lore. So there were children's books. And now she needs Duffy more. I'm, I love it. So there are children's books here. I'm a sucker for children's books, by the way. This is just a fun fact about me. Um, that talks about Duffy the Bear. And basically, long story short, the story is that Minnie made Duffy to send to Mickey while he was away at sea. And so like, long, that's pretty much the story of Duffy. Like the origin story of Duffy. And then Shelly May, 
was because Duffy got lonely and needed a friend because he saw how happy Mickey and Minnie were together. So he wanted a friend. And so she made Shelly May. And so basically all of these stuffed animals, they all have stories in relation to Duffy and like the Duffy universe. And so like this new girl, she has her own little story that comes with her of like how she met Duffy. Same with Gelatoni, who is this one right here, who has this little book, but there's actually a whole book for him. And then also Olumel. I get it now. <laughs> I am living for the outfits. It's it's giving all the cottage core vibes that I live for. Basically, a hot dog. This is not what I think I was seeing people eat. I think this is something different, but we're gonna try it. Go for it, Robert. Mm. I had just Looked like it had good snap, snap though. Snap factor. <laughs> Time to try the seafood calzone with white sauce from Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen. I might have shown this already, but if this isn't the most fun place to be, I don't know. Oh, 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 she opened her eyes! Yay! Oh, I love it here. I love it here. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really, really good. Okay, so really quick note about that dish that I thought was interesting. When it said with white sauce, I didn't expect it to be on the plate. I expected it to be in the calzone. But I actually liked this setup better because in the calzone, it had like a mix of like shrimp and like squid. Other things. Like maybe there's probably squid in there, but um, and it had a little bit more of like a tomatoey base. Um, and it was really good. Um, and then it came with like the cauliflower and um, a shrimp and a little bit of pasta with like the Alfredo y sauce. I'm gonna call it Alfredo. Um, I don't really know what it was, but it was actually really good. I was pleasantly surprised. Say we give ourselves a few minutes to just sit here for a bit. I agree. Also, if you're wondering, we're very tired and my lower back is an incredible pain. Uh, so if I look dead inside, that's why. But I'm actually quite joyful. It's a beautiful place here. It's just back pain sucks. <laughs> Is this like the new angle we're doing here? This is the angle. <laughs> I refuse to get up the shade. Okay. I'm not hurt with that. <laughs> Post production, Adrian, I was gonna hate you for this. But... <laughs> Disney Sea Hall. Yay! And it's not nearly as extensive as yesterday's was. Can um, you believe that we are back at the hotel an hour earlier than yesterday, but are equally as tired and as in pain? Mm, I would argue more in pain, but less frozen. Uh, yeah, yeah. The less freezing definitely helps. Um, but we have a half day tomorrow. Not half day. We we have another park day tomorrow. Um, and then we're going to leave the park and go to our hotel. We're staying at a place called Tokyo Stay. Um, in do you remember what the city's called? Um, I want to say it's in. Shimbuku? Sh uh, we'll tell you tomorrow. It's near um, Shibuya. Anyways, here is our Tokyo Disney <laughs> Sea Hall. Um, mm -hmm. Starting off, we got more chopsticks uh -huh. for my stepbrother. Um, I hope it's focusing. Nope, it's focusing on my face. face. No! <laughs> I'm getting up anyways. Uh -huh. um, so we did get some chopsticks. Um, next, pretty much the only thing left is Duffy stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Duffy stuffy. We got these ears, these Shelly May ears. Duffy and Shelly officially have a new member of their fan club, and Which, it is Adriana. Okay, listen, listen. So when we were there, I, 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 I basically already talked about it in the vlog, yeah. so I'm not gonna reiterate. But we found these books. Just show them books, baby. That basically yeah. um, tell the lore. The current lore, I guess, but it's the it's the lore, lore in my heart um, of how Duffy came to be, um, and then how Shelley May came to be, and I am a sucker for a couple things in this life, but a couple especially being um, characters with with storybook lore and a universe and like American Girl, Strawberry Shortcake. And now Duffy, I'm like, 
yes so I got these books um I just love them and I needed them and that's it that's it for that so that was our haul that's pretty much it um now you might be asking yourself what do you mean new lore what do you mean new story Adriana you just said in the vlog you weren't even you didn't even know what Duffy was until today this is true it was because on the bus ride back which Adriana told me when I think when we were eating at dinner uh, at Sebastian's, she was like, I'm gonna look up Duffy Lore when I get on the back to the hotel. And I look over and what do I see on the bus right back? She is, she's looking up Duffy stuff and found out that there was an actually a, an original story that got redone. Um, and that was the current lore we have today. I love story and world building. Anyways, um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching um, and for bearing with this lovely angle we have going here. But we're really tired. I desperately need to change and take a shower. Um, and tonight's your last night in our hotel, so I'm yeah. a little sad. Um, but it's been really, really awesome. And then tomorrow, I will be going back to Tokyo Disney Sea to finish up some things we didn't get to do. And then we'll start our journey throughout the rest of Tokyo. So stick around and we'll see you then. And I'm gonna get more of those chicken nuggets. Yes, all right, bye! Mm -hmm. One thing I never got to show you guys was that the ceiling is glow in the dark in the entire room.